Hello! Let's do an experiment. I have a light bulb here and the light bulb needs a voltage supply of 6 volts. And then I have a battery here, but the battery has 9 volts. So uh, maybe it would destroy my light bulb. What could we do? Hmm, we talked about the voltage divider. So let's take our battery. And let's check the voltage first. I don't know how old it is. Great. The voltage is still nine point something. So let's say it's nine volt. And now I take two resistors and build a voltage divider. Okay, the first resistor is a one kilo ohm and the second a two kilo ohm resistor. And now let's measure the voltage drops. Great! At the 2 kilo ohm resistor we have our needed 6 volt. Our total voltage of course is still 9 volt and surprise surprise the voltage drop at the 1 kilo ohm resistor is 3 volt. So uh, we know it from our equation. If we calculate this voltage with our voltage divider rule then we have this expression and it leads to 6 volt. That means, cool, we built a voltage divider and now we have our needed 6 volt. Shh, what a pity. Why does the lamp not shine now? Let's check the voltage. Holy crap, this is only 15 millivolts. Why is that? You remember the loaded voltage divider? We have to take into account uh, the parallel connection of our 2 kilo ohm resistor and our lamp. And the lamp has about 1.7 ohm and that means we have to use uh, our voltage divider rule for the loaded voltage divider so i say that this here is my new resistance uh, where i want to calculate the voltage drop at and therefore i need this voltage divider rule in red here is the equation for two resistors in parallel. So the two kilo ohm in parallel to 1.7 ohm. And uh, yeah, if I calculate these values, this leads me to our 15 millivolt. And so you see, it's very important that you can't use your voltage divider rule blind in a circuit without uh, having a look on uh, additional resistors, okay?